Solving equations with fractions, part one. Uh, fractions are probably one of the biggest headaches for people who are trying to solve equations and solve for unknowns and equations. So we're going to talk about a fairly straightforward way to deal with that. And so I got a note here. It says, when solving equations with multiple fractions, always remove the denominators by multiplying all terms on both sides of the equation by the blank should be lowest common denominator okay so we're not going to change the fractions to to uh, to common denominators we're actually just going to multiply both sides to remove those denominators but we multiply by a number the number that removes it is the lowest common denominator we'll see why in a second here first question here is pretty straightforward uh, actually we could do this one the basic using the basic uh, rules and so in this one here we can just multiply by uh, by 3 because this x is being divided by 3 to solve for x we got to remove the 3 multiply by 3 or 3 over 1 in other words multiply this side by 3 once same thing as 3 and, and uh, what happens then is on this side the 3 is are gone and I get x equals 3 1 times 3 is 3 2 times 1 is 2 and three halves. I just leave it like that. Uh, so that's what we've been generally doing. But when you've got equation like the next one, you can't just do that. Uh, so this one here, the common denominator is two. So what we do in a situation like this is we're going to uh, take and multiply each term. Let's get this one term, two terms, and another term over here too. There's three terms in this this equation, we're going to multiply it by by the number 2, because that's the common denominator, 2 over 1 or just 2. So multiply this one by 2 over 1 and multiply this one by 2. So everything gets multiplied by 2. Now the reason we do that is so that we can cancel out the 2 in the bottom with the number they're multiplying by. 2 goes into 2 one time, 1 times 3x is just 3x. 2 goes into 2 one time, 1 times 1 is 1. There's a plus 1 there, equals 5 times 2, nothing cancel out because there's no denominator. 5 times 2 is 10. And now, I, now that I've got rid of the denominators, I can solve it like a regular equation we did earlier. We talked about just solving equations. So what do we do first here? Well, I'm going to get rid of that one. I always get rid of the added subtract first. So that's gone. And I get 3x equals 9 and now we can get rid of that 3 by dividing by 3 it's multiplying the opposite of multiplying is dividing right and I get x equals 3 and there's our answer okay so let's do that one more time here with one other qu question and I'm just gonna write it out over here just to get a little bit more space x over 3 plus 5 equals 3x over 4 plus 10. Leave a little spacing it out here so we have lots of room. Okay, what is the common denominator of 3 and 4? Well, both 3 and 4 go into 12 evenly. It's the smallest one. Uh, we could choose a larger one, but why? Just making it more difficult with numbers. So I'm going to do here, I'm going to uh, multiply each term here. I'm going to bracket each term. It's a good idea to bracket it. And multiply them all by 12. We said that was the common denominator. The 12 in front of each one. There we go. Now this is the fraction, so I put it 12 over 1. The fractions are 3 goes into 12 four times. 4 times, now I multiply it. 4 times x is 4x. 12 times 5 is 60. Equals, okay, 4 goes into 12 three times. 3 times 3x is 9x plus 12 times 10 is 120. It's an easy multiplication. There, no more fractions. So let's solve this. First thing I got to do is I got to get all the x's on the same side. I usually like to bring them over to the left hand side. So I'm going to do that. Get rid of those x's from the right hand side. Add and subtract to move a term. In this case, I'm subtracting because it was a positive 9x. And I get negative. 5x plus 60 equals 
120 over here. Okay, now we've got to get XL by itself. So uh, let's do the next step here. Let's see, let's uh, get rid of the 60. So we minus 60 and we minus 60 over here. That's gone. We got negative 5x equals 60. 120 minus 60 is 60. Last step I'm going to do is divide by negative 5 because negative 5 is multiplying the x. I do the inverse or the opposite to get rid of it. I do the same thing over here. And I get finally x equals negative 12. And there's my answer. The key here though is that first step of multiplying everything by 12 so the denominators in the question cancel out. But make sure you have to multiply every term, not just the ones that have fractions.